there's a little breeze, so um, I'm going to try and talk a little louder than usual. But welcome to my video. I'm Bree, and I feel things like most of us. But today I'm here to talk about some crystals and more specifically, wow, that wind is beautiful. More specifically, I am here to talk about malachite. I don't know if you can see that. Let me get it a little closer. Focus. Okay, so this is malachite. It's green, and then there's darker green parts in it. Okay, the darker green parts have been touched by water the most. Um, and I forgot where they usually develop, but malachite also has copper in it, so it makes it really grounding. Um, when I'm working with malachite, the feeling I usually get is it's doing surgery on my heart. So it's really good for your heart chakra, but it kind of links it down to your sacral chakra because you also just feel really grounded. Um, the reason you wouldn't want to work with malachite is if you are afraid to let the pain in your heart be seen by yourself so that you could fix it. Um, it kind of flips everything open, like as if you're laying all your problems out on the table and you're seeing it for the first time, being able to logically think about it. And also, apologize for the nails. I was just teaching an art class, so I have charcoal under my nails. Ugh. But yeah, malachite. Um, there's some dangers when it comes to malachite. Um, I've been heard that it's poisonous when you make an elixir. So an elixir is just crystal water. You put your crystal in there, you let the energy absorb into your water, and then you drink it. Um, I heard malachite is toxic, and I've heard people say that that is absolute rubbish but I'm not sure what to, to think, so I'm going to play it safe and not put this one in water. I heard that tumbled stones are okay to put in water, um, but this piece, oh my gosh, I can't get a clearer picture for you. Eh. Eh. Wow. This specific piece has been placed in water before, and it was a tumbled stone, but it started chipping off and it's gone through the dryer a couple times. So I don't think the polish um, stays after a certain amount of knocking around and chemicals on it. So just be very mindful of the fact that the polish can erode. You just want to play it safe. Um, you don't want to be drinking a bunch of metal, although it's not bad to drink some metal here and there. So. Okay. Um, malachite can be really heavy. I remember holding this and picking it up, and I was so engulfed in my own illusion that I had to put it down because it was just such a strong, heavy energy. It makes you want to get up and take action. Um, so it feels... I don't have a Moldavite yet, but just hearing what Moldavite is, it feels as if it's a baby Moldavite and that it does... The things that Moldavite would do without actually speaking or whispering into your ear or all the alien stuff that you hear of. And it does actually look pretty out of this world. It looks pretty alien, not gonna lie. This green is just otherworldly. <laughs> or not. It kind of reminds me of this planet too, of Earth. Um, so since this can be such a strong energy and flip your heart open um the energy in your heart isn't always a good energy and it could be really dark and scary so you want to pair it maybe if you can't keep your head up all the time pair it with a stone that provides that energy of unconditional love like a rose quartz or something that i like to work with that i've gotten recently oh my god this one is so gorgeous it's glowing this is not rose quartz although i thought it was at first it's also actually a pink calcite and it helps you with self-love um very soft energy very light and makes you want to take a deep breath when you hold it there are ants all over the place you can see them in the grass just carrying their food i was just over at the ducks i'm in bonita if you guys know where that is in san diego we have a golf course and there's a bunch of ducks and a bunch of pigeons so i was feeding them crackers 
um, and it's mating season, so they were all doing their little dance and trying to wiggle up on each other. <laughs> and another, another sound that I like to work with is angel aura quartz. Very pretty. So angel aura quartz is quartz, and this one has been sprayed with titanium, and I think that's it for this one. Blue aura quartz they spray with gold. And I think it changes depending on the stone you're working with. So yeah, this um, helps connect you to your angels. And um, when I when I hold this stone, I feel the energy working right in this area. In fact, it feels so good to put this on your third eye and Malachite right on your heart. And um, Malachite's actually a really good one to wear as jewelry on your heart and give hugs, hugs to people. Um, forgot if there was something else I was going to say. I'm gonna let the golfers pass. Wow, I wish I had a really small microscopic kind of camera so that you could see what these ants are carrying. They have little pieces of food on their back and they're all crawling on my shoes <laughs> so yeah malachite um in other words happy solar eclipse and happy new moon i think the new moon just ended but it was intense <laughs> it was sun in cancer moon in cancer we had a partial solar eclipse and then the new moon at the same time and if you didn't have a mental breakdown during that time I want to just clap for you because I broke down two times and I felt ten tense just like like I felt like I couldn't relax for a couple of days um, and things are starting to finally slow down and I like it so um, that new moon just showed me where I need to be working and having more determination at um, showed me some self-love things and just like having that general mood of frustration is a kick in the butt and a call for action um, so something I kind of did in honor of the times and for myself really is I tattooed Saturn on me it doesn't it looks like the Japanese symbol for Sa, interesting right, Sa, Saturn, um, in the camera because it's backwards, but think about what it would look like at a different angle. <laughs> it looks like the Japanese symbol for Chi, that's, the, that's what Saturn looks like. So I have the Sun, the Moon, Mercury, and Saturn, and I think I'm going to have to go over the Saturn tattoo again. I just did a stick and poke. So it's when you take ink, a needle, and you just stab, 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 stab. Fun stuff. I like doing it. I don't know why. I've been doing it since I was like 17. And I also made myself this little lotus with a heart. And uh, everyone um, told me it used to look like a dick when I worked at McDonald's. But of course, that was McDonald's. So, yeah. Um, I hope to get all the planets on me. I just thought it really is time for Saturn. I'm done with my shit. I need to... Be more focused and um, be responsible and it's hard not to be gluttonous it's hard not to to want instant gratification because we think we deserve it and we work really hard but like I forgot what it was like to work really long and really hard for something and then achieve a goal that I had set for myself I really forgot what that feels like and I think it's time to become that person again because it's like planting a seed and then watching your fruit grow and after watering it for so long and it's your plants are gonna grow if you just leave them outside for nature to take care of um, if they haven't been planted inside of the earth so yeah that's kind of an analogy that got me thinking because I have a garden at home and it's been so hot that I haven't been giving it enough water and so it's dying and that's kind of a reflection of how I've been treating myself and 
um, when you treat yourself that way, it kind of reflects onto the people, other people in your life, because you've been neglecting yourself, so you don't give time to those people either. And it's like, where the heck's my time going? And it seems like time is going by so fast. So I want to slow time down a little bit if I can and get more shit done. Yeah, so I'm hoping working with this malachite will help me facilitate that um, along with this pink calcite, which was a gift. It was gifted, gifted to me by my coworker. And Angel Aura. I don't work with this too much. Um, I see presents sometimes, but I haven't, I don't think I've seen my angels. Um, I could see auras kind of around people. Depends on how strong they are, and it depends on, I guess, if I'm willing to see it, like, if I'm close to that person, or I've gotten to know them for a while, or if they just show their true colors right away. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. I get that now, true colors. <laughs> Um, and, oh, the sky is fucking sparkly. Sometimes there's these little, little orbs and they go, sp, 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 sp. I don't know, they'll, like, come off the trees, they'll be like, ch, 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 ch. if you know what I mean. Ooh. Um, so, yeah, I don't think I really had anything else to talk about. I have to go back to my shift soon, um. If you don't know, I work at an art studio, and I was supposed to work a 3.30 class, and then she ended up not needing me, so I'm gonna go back at 5, and so I just came out in the park to hang for a little bit um, and make this video. So let me help break up the, the dead leaves and make more dirt. <laughs> Maybe the ants can carry it to eat his food. I don't know if they eat leaves. Um, Yeah, I guess I'll go. I don't have anything else to talk about. For some reason, I just felt really compelled to make a video, so. I'm gonna leave it at that. If you stayed this long, thank you for watching, and I'm going to enjoy the rest of my day. I hope you guys enjoy your day, and I hope you get to go outside and feel this nice, fresh air. Wow, look at this leaf. Look at this leaf for a second, by the way. Look at all the colors on that.